Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about Neo Stock. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys, let's go on our investor journey together. So today we're gonna be talking about Neo Stock. And as you guys see, Neo Stock again down 7.09% today currently trading at $41. This is in the current pre-market and it leads people to ask the question, you know, on Friday's trading session, this thing hit almost $54 and it makes people wonder, you know, is Neo stock going to continue to crash? Should I buy the dip on Neo stock? Is Neo stock going to $25 after the Citron research report? Well, I hope to answer all those questions for you guys by the end of the video. For me, I'm always going to say this guys, you guys should buy Neo stock at $41 and 41 cents. You guys have to understand that Neo stock is experiencing a large amount of growth that no other stock is really experiencing right now. Taking a look at the five year chart guys, this thing IPO September 12th of 2018 in the short two years, it's had its IPO. It's up 589%, but guys from year to date, it's up 2,100%. Even the last three months, it's up 216%. And the last week it's down point, uh, 0.96%. And currently today it's down 7.32%. It leads people to ask the question, you know, is Neo stock going to continue to sink? And even if Neo stock does continue to sink, I think this is actually a very good time to actually buy the dip on Neo stock. And why do I say this? Because one, you know, a lot of people have been waiting for this pullback for Neo stock. A lot of people have been like, okay, like, is Neo stock going to crash anytime soon? I really want to get into Neo, but it's starting to get pretty expensive. Like, is this the dip we've been waiting for? Is this the correction? Is this the pullback? Well, you guys have to understand that. You know, Neo stock could continue to go lower, but I still think $41.29 is a very fair price to pick up Neo stock. You know, like I said, it's a huge EV company based out of China, basically does the exact same thing Tesla does. It produces luxury EV vehicles. As you guys know, Neo's been experiencing a lot of growth, consistently beating its delivery estimates the last couple of months. Goes to show that, you know, Neo is selling a lot of cars and Neo is expanding and it's growing and it's already expanding to Europe as well. They do have earnings tomorrow, and I know a lot of people are pretty anxious about their earnings. What, how are Neo's earnings going to be? What are the expectations for Neo's earnings? For me, I think Neo's actually going to do pretty okay on their earnings. Like I said, them consistently getting and beating their delivery estimates month after month after month goes to show that Neo's headed in the right right direction as far as the growth. And on top of all that. Guys, this thing is consistently getting analyst upgrades. As you guys know, JP Morgan tripled its analyst upgrade on Neo stock from $13 to $40. Deutsche Bank also upgraded the stock as well. And a few other analysts also had stock upgrades for Neo as well. A lot of analysts coming out saying that Neo is going to be an iconic brand one day, that Neo is going to be a top EV company, has updated technology, and has a lot to show for itself as far as the company. You guys have to understand. Citron published a research report. If you guys don't know who Citron is, they're just a bunch of short sellers. They basically said that Neo stock is going to $25, that Neo's current valuation can never be justified just due to the simple fact that they think that Neo stock is not worth the, you know, the current price it's sitting at right now. You know, like I said, they think that, you know, the fact that Tesla sold double the amount of vehicles that Neo did in, in China goes to show that, you know, Neo is very overvalued. I think that's completely wrong. I don't think Neo stock is overvalued. I think Neo is still worth the investment at $41.22. And I do encourage people to actually buy the dip on the stock. Everything I say in my videos, guys, is not investment advice or anything like that. It's just my personal opinion. But I still think Neo stock is worth the buy at $41 because the amount of growth that Neo has yet to do is hasn't even rised up yet guys you have to understand that neo still has so much more room to grow and neo still has so much more room to expand like i said this thing just started getting a lot of heat this thing just started getting the show on the road and i get it you guys also have to take in consideration you know when a short seller is publishing a report about a stock like neo you know their main intent is to drive the price of the stock down that's their main intent i'm not saying they're wrong or right i'm just saying their main intent is to drive the price of the stock, uh, stock down. Neo, time and time again, beating its delivery estimates, getting analyst upgrades. We have earnings tomorrow, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see how they do. And we also have Neo Day coming up at the end of the year or beginning of next year. And basically on Neo Day, they're going to be unveiling a, basically a lot of new cars, basically where the company is going to be headed. As you guys know, Neil also is dropping a bigger and better battery, currently evaluated bigger than General Motors, a company who's been around for a very long time that's consistently selling vehicles. For me, I honestly think people should buy the dip on Neo stock. I think someone would be a fool to not take this advantage and buy the dip on Neo stock at $41.76, guys. Neo still has so much more room to grow. It's a fairly new EV company. 
that basically is the rival of Tesla. It basically does the exact same thing Tesla does. And currently as we speak, you know, Neo's expanding, you know, and, and the management team is working very, very hard. Guys, if you look at the one year chart, you really can't argue the amount of growth that Neo has had just this year alone. You know, a lot of people are starting to notice these EV starters because they know that, you know, the EV is going to be the future, that EV companies are going to be the biggest, hottest stocks in the next five to 10 years. The fact that Neo's been able to expand this much in the midst of a pandemic, proving itself time and time again, selling more cars than people thought it would. And that's not even by small margins, guys. I'm talking by one to 200%. It goes to show Neo as a company is here to stay. It's proving itself time and time again. It's led by good management. It's got a good brand for itself. And, you know, People have to take advantage of these kinds of times, you know, when the stock is not doing well. Guys, if you truly believe in the stock, buy the dip. Even if it goes lower than the average that you bought it, it's okay because if you believe in the long-term bullish sentiment on NEO stock, then you should be okay with a short-term loss for a long-term gain. You know, for me, like I said, my analyst of NEO has not changed. I still think NEO is going to be a $60 to $75 stock by the end of the year. And I know that NEO stock is probably going to hit $100 or higher early into 2021 or early into next year. So I'm still super, super bullish on NEO stock. And I know that NEO is going to be a top EV company. I know that NEO is going to be a top competitor right now. And it continues to expand, clipping the brand name clean. I know that NEO one day is going to be a great company. It already is a great company. There's so much bullish sentiment behind Neo stock. A lot of investors love it. A lot of people love what they do. A lot of people love their vehicles as well. You know, it goes to show that, you know, do what you feel is right. Do your due diligence. But for me, guys, buy Neo stock, buy the dip on Neo stock. It is absolutely worth the investment. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of Neo stock. Do you think Neo stock is a buy at this current price? I'm very curious to know what you guys think of the Citron research report. If you guys own Neo stock, how many shares do you guys own and what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.